Welcome to REC TV Education. Today I am discussing the topic coordinate geometry. First, this is the coordinate axis. Coordinate axis divides any plane into four parts. First one is this is first quadrant Q1 next Q2 and this is Q3 next Q4. So here the horizontal line represents X axis and the vertical line represents Y axis. The right hand side of this X axis. So this represents positive X axis and the left hand side represents negative X axis. So here the upside, so that means from here onwards, so this is positive y axis and the bottom side that represents negative y axis. The point of intersection of this horizontal line and the vertical line that means x axis and y axis is the origin. We are taking the origin as 0 comma 0 that is the point of intersection of two axes. The ordered pair A comma B. So the, this represents any point on the coordinate axis. So the first one, so this represents the position where, uh, with respect to the x axis. And the second element that represents the posi position with respect to the y axis. So here A is called x coordinate. A is the X coordinate or abscissa. The second one, so that is called Y coordinate or ordinate. In the linear pair here, the first one is the X coordinate or abscissa and B. The second one is Y coordinate or ordinate. The, A, the point which lies in the first quadrant is of the form a comma b so that means both x coordinate and y coordinate are positive and in the second quadrant so here the first one so this is x axis is uh, negative x axis first one you have to take a negative value minus a comma b this is the general form of a point in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant x axis is negative and y axis is negative so minus a comma minus b this represents a point uh, which lies on third quadrant and now in the fourth quadrant x axis is positive and y axis is negative that means plus a comma minus b these are the general forms of points lies in quadrants plotting a point consider a point phi comma 6 we have to represent locate that on the coordinate axis first the x axis x coordinate is 5 and the y coordinate is 6 so First, we have to consider this x coordinate on the x axis. So, here at the point 5, we have to draw the perpendicular line. That is exactly perpendicular to this x axis at the point 5. So, the next y coordinate is 6. At this point, we have to draw perpendicular line. On from the y axis, we have to draw this perpendicular line. The point of intersection of both these perpendicular lines gives the location of the required point phi comma 6 that means the distance of phi comma 6 from the x axis is this length that is modulus of y the distance of the point phi comma 6 from the x axis is modulus of y that is equal to 6 units and the distance of phi comma 6 from this y axis is this much distance. How much this one? 5 units. So that means modulus of x. So that is equal to 5 units. Now we are finding the distance between any two points on the coordinate axis. Otherwise the length of the line segment AB. Now we have to consider two points A x1 y1 and B x2 y2. We are finding the distance between those two points. Yes. So x1 y1 so that means 
so here the value is equal to x1 so this is the perpendicular from the x-axis to that point so this is x1 and, and that means from here to here from this origin to this perpendicular the distance is equal to x1 and from this point to the y-axis so here to here that is y1 again just you see here the value is equal to y x2 here so here the first value you have to represent on the x axis and the second value means so here the value is equal to y2 now this is from here to here this is y1 and from here to here this is y2 and here from here to here the total length is equal to x2 just we have to consider this triangle the length is equal to ab and we have to consider this right angle triangle so this is one just i am marking this as p so we have to find this length pb is equal to how much so from here to here this total value is equal to y2 and here to here this value is equal to y1 now what about this value this length that is y2 minus y1 so this length is equal to this length now this value becomes pb becomes y2 minus y1 our next value ap is there from here to here this value is equal to totally x2 and this small value is equal to x1 we have to find this length now this length is equal to x2 minus x1 we have to subtract this value from this total length we can get this x2 minus x1 so this x2 minus x1 value is equal to ap so that ap is equal to x2 minus x1 from the right angle triangle apb from right angle triangle APB by using Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse whole square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square so here hypotenuse is AB AB whole square is equal to AP square plus PB square so implies AB square we are finding that one AB square is equal to what is AP here x2 minus x1 that means x2 minus x1 whole square plus what is pb y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 whole square we have to find ab so that means ab is equal to the square will go that side and become square root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so uh, the distance between any two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square first question based on the distance formula Find the distance between the points 2, 9 and 3, 7. First, let, let us consider first point x1, y1 is equal to 2, 9. So that means, so here x1 is equal to 2 and y1 is equal to 9. First value is equal to first value and second value is second one. x1 is equal to 2, y1 is equal to 9. And the second point is x2, y2 that is equal to 3, 7. So here first one x2 is equal to first value x2 is equal to 3 and y2 is equal to 7. Now the distance between these two points is the distance between two points so this is a and this is b a b the length a b is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So that is equal square root of what is the value of x2 3 minus x1 value 2 we have to substitute these values that is enough plus y2 value 7 minus y1 value 9 7 minus 9 so that is a square root of 3 minus 2 1 square plus 7 minus 9 that is equal to minus 2 minus 2 whole square whole square means that negative value becomes positive value so that means 1 plus minus 2 square means 4 so that is square root of 5 units the length the distance between the two points a and b is root 5 units question number two find the value of p if the distance between the points 3 comma 8 and 3 comma p is 10 units that means he gave two points first one is 3 comma 8 and 3 comma p here the second value that means ordinate value we don't know we have to find that one and the distance between these two points is 10 units that is a given information so here first one let us consider a x1 y1 is equal to 3 comma 8 implies x1 is equal to 3 and y1 is equal to 8 
The second point B x2 y2 is equal to 3 comma P implies x2 is equal to 3 and y2 is equal to small p. He gave that the distance gi the distance is is 10 units. So that means square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1. So this is the formula for distance between two points is equal to 10 implies square root of we have to substitute these values in this formula so x2 value is 8 x2 value is 3 minus x1 value is 3 same so whole square plus y2 value p minus y1 value 8 whole square that is 10 so 3 minus 3 is 0 0 square means 0 only implies square root of p minus 8 whole square is equal to 10 so square and square root will go implies p minus 8 is equal to 10 implies p is equal to 10 plus 8 that is equal to 18. So therefore the value of p is 18.